After talking to hundreds of CEOs in dozens of countries, there is one fundamental truth that stands out for me. There is no such thing as stability. The only constant is uncertainty. Great leaders must learn two lessons that are critical to their success in life and business. The first is to embrace the reality of uncertainty every moment of every day. Every time we breathe, the world changes. Second is we have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable, to not be afraid of adversity. But so many of us think that the goal of life is to be happy all the time, that things should go well every day. But being a successful leader and a healthy person is to recognize that the goal of life is to live it to its fullest. And that means that there are good days and bad days, opportunities and challenges, celebrations, and yes, rejections. We have to learn how to fall down and get up to be resilient in the face of uncertainty. And that's true for people, and it's true for companies, and it's true for countries. The faster we can fall down and bounce back to course correct and get back on our feet, the healthier we will be and the more success we will have in business. Now, it's inevitable that today or tomorrow or the next day, you will lose a major customer or get sick or have an argument with your boss, and the list goes on and on. But the best leaders feel their feelings. They process through them, and they bounce back. They get up quickly. Now, we can learn a lot from our kids. I mean, just watch how our two-year-olds learn to walk or our six-year-olds learn to ride a bike. They fall down, and they get up. They get right up, and not without shedding a tear in their eye, but there's a difference between vulnerability and weakness. By definition, we are all vulnerable in the face of uncertainty, but we don't have to be weak. I'm reminded of the story of Atina Diffney, the co-owner of a small organic produce business. For 30 years, she had her typical ups and downs, but just when her business was ready to take off, a huge privately held energy company, Koch Industries, with revenues over $100 billion, tried to seize her company's land and put her out of business and put an oil pipeline instead in the face of her farm. Now, you know that hurt. So she fought back with inner strength and courage and determination. She rallied her friends and allies, and she involved the state government to pass guidelines to protect her business from the pipeline. And she was able to shut down the project. She fell down, and she got up. She said to me in a conversation, you know, quote, people see someone doing something brave, and they think that the person is fearless. It's not that they're fearless. It's just that they don't let the fear stop them. Like Atina, approach your leadership in life with a calm, cool, and collected attitude. Know that you'll fall down from time to time, and don't be afraid of your anxiety. Learn to be comfortable with being uncomfortable, and embrace your feelings and move through them. Stay confident that you will move through the challenge You've been there before, and you'll do it again. You see, the key is to feel the scrape on your knee and put a Band-Aid on it, and then get back up on the bike as quickly as possible.